So Jesse is home. Uh, just ate lunch and now we're going to take a break because we've got to feed the nuggets their bottles. And then we will start working on fencing. Just got done cleaning up all the bottles, so it's time to start fencing. I swear, if you have livestock, you spend 90% of your time fixing fencing, putting up fencing, moving fencing. We do a lot of fencing around here. I like fencing. It's very therapeutic. You see so. Oh, you already put... Was that already there around the bees? Yeah, that was already there. So right now, the moo-moos are all in this lower pasture. We do have a little bit of hay out here. We had a hay bale that wasn't wrapped all the way. So it just got left out here. And they haven't really touched much of it. So they still have grass out here. But we have a ton of grass over here and around the pond. And like I said earlier, up by the greenhouse. So we're going to run a line from here all the way up to the front. Honey? All the way up to the front. All the way. And I got a crazy plan. Oh, no. Hopefully it works out. What is that? Oh, uh, you'll see. Will I be able to enter my office without having to go past yep. the hot wire? Won't affect it. Okay. If you jump over it. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, as long as I jump over it, I'm good. <sighs> but on a side note, the leaves are finally starting to change. And it's absolutely gorgeous out definitely my most favorite time of the year. And I think the cows like this time of year too. We have more posts than that though, right? Oh yeah. Okay. So we still gotta uh, circle the greenhouse. Let's not lose our hammer this time. Only, uh, only we could lose a bright fluorescent orange hammer in the middle of the field. Like a maraca. And if only we had soil that we could just actually just push these down into. Yeah, no kidding. And so we're going to put a hot line around the electrical box because cows are jerks and they will rub up against this and they will chew on it. So we don't want them anywhere near this area. So make sure they can't get near it. I and mean, if you really want to make it interesting, you could leave the hot wire hot and see how that goes. You play that game? It's a good game to play. Yeah, no, we're too old for that. Just, just unhook it. Alright, I'm so hoping that this last bit will be enough for what we need or else we're making a very long trip to get more. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this in a previous video. Don't ever get these things. They are absolute crap. It lives in the ground forever now. Yeah. <laughs> She's snapping off. Um, one, if it's a really hot day out and there's any tension on them, they will melt. And then two, 
they just break off of the ends. So don't get these from like tractor supply. There is a company that you can order from online that makes a really high quality one. But ones at most feed stores are not those. If I can remember the name, I'll put it down. Timeless fence. Is what? Timeless fence. Timeless fence. So the timeless fence makes some really good ones, but all the other ones are crap. We get these from one of the feed stores that we go to. They're fiberglass. They're a little bit more sturdy. They're still not the best in the world, but they're a lot better than these guys. And it's a lot cheaper than having to put T-posts. As much as we move around fence, T-posts aren't most ideal for us. What now? I, think, I don't know. I think it's like O'Brien or... Oh, there's another one out there. It's really good. You'd have to go to Greg Judy's channel. He he does it... Well, he does this for a living, honestly. He's got a lot of reviews on posts and stuff like that. And I like his farming method, too. I think I might have a note pick up. Alright, so this is the last one. Yeah. I mean, look at all that beautiful grass. Well, yeah, we. this is where we ran the chickens and the chicken tractors this year. So even though it looks a little brown, it is very thick and very lush. And the cows will eat every last bit of it. So we had exactly enough posts for this project exactly enough i may have had to steal one that wasn't being used over in the winter pasture but that's okay it wasn't being used so technically it was perfectly fine granted we will have to get more for up there if we decide to cross fence over there again <laughs> but that's that's a later problem yeah there's only one way to find out. You touch it. You touch it. You unhipped it. It sounds hot. It sounds hot. I thought you disconnected it. Well, obviously I put it back on after I got done running that. Well, you should probably go undo that. Ugh, so far. Question. I just walked all the way down there to disconnect, right? Could not have just unhooked these. <laughs> well, you want to touch it? I unhooked it. No. I unhooked it. You're good. Fencing with you is like playing with jigsaw. Would you like to play a game? Yes, would you like to play a game? Go ahead and touch it. You touch it. You touch it. I don't even know where the hand Oh, it's in your back pocket. Good to go. See, I told you I disconnected it. Usually I put a, uh, a handle on these things, but I don't have a reel for it. So we're just gonna temporarily do this. I did uh, take out the metal filaments. That way at least we know how that's nice and nice and hat. And when I get, when I get another reel, I wanna see if they have like a smaller reel for 328 feet. I think that'd be good to have a, on a reel. Yeah. The crazy part about all this is once we build the new house, all this is going to change. I'm going to do all this all over again. Maybe something a little bit more permanent. Oh, I don't think we'll do permanent. No? I like keeping, being able to take it down and move it if we need be. It just gives us a little bit more freedom like if we wanted to put the goats over here this one line isn't going to keep the goats in so we would have to take it down and do something completely different with it keeping it like this I get that. It, it gives us options especially because i'm very fickle when it comes to what i want <laughs> we will have to move that camera though or All else right. the cows are going to continue to set it off
Here we go. I guess I have to cut it now. It makes yeah. me sad. We have some scrap that you pulled from over there. Do you want me to grab that for around here? I wonder if that scrap will fit across the gate. Let me go grab it. So I have this that I pulled down from another section. It's still attached to everything. Let's see if this will work so we don't have to cut that reel. Let's see what this one is. No reach. I know it's called hoarding, but that's why we save pieces like this. It's being resourceful. Will it go around the hot the electrical box? Maybe. No. I think I got some more pieces for that. Possible. Scrappies. We got a ton of the yellow scrap. That's garbage. I got some white scrap. That's good. It's just very What? Well, this will work for around the focal wire thing. For around the. This is. This should be enough for around the greenhouse. I didn't tangle it all up. Okay. Look at this stuff. Oh yeah. And they'll eat every last bit of this down. Good stuff. Yeah, what they said. Now I need a window right here on my office so I can just poke my head out and touch the moon. Is that falling over? Yes, that is falling over. that post with the hot wire. It's too heavy to hang from the actual wire. Well that's also hot. Yeah. It's yeah. too heavy. Alright, so we'll be right back. Do I even want to know? Nope. Just fine for that. Um, 
metal tie, put it right there. Yeah, Bob's your uncle. Don't know if I need a second one, but. Just like that. Well, isn't that fancy? There we go. Look at all this stuff. I think I get more excited about putting the cows on new paddock than the cows do. I don't know. I like it when they're like running and they start hopping and stuff. I get excited about it. They know something's up. So the greenhouse is now fenced off as well, so they can't get in there. And if they did, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. There's not like a whole lot going on. I will be planting garlic here for the next day or so, but they're not going to mess with that because it's not going to really sprout up yet. So I think we are officially done with this area. So we will move the cows tonight after milking, see how they like it. Before I forget, I know we'll probably get questions. This road right here, we don't really care if the cows poop on it. We're actually wanting this to overgrow. We don't use this. This used to be a driveway for a property that was up there. And then the previous owner just kept this as his main drive. We don't really need it. The only time we really ever use it is if we have a really big delivery that won't fit through our drive gate. And even then we still don't need a road here. So we're trying to actually let all that grow over because we'd rather have more green than rock. We have enough rock as it is. All right, so I reconnected the hot wire. You touch it. You touch it. You touch it. You touch it. Now we're at eight. We're hot. That should keep the cows in. I guess we'll see you guys when it's time to milk so we can get the cows moved. You excited? Mm-hmm. You just like to hear the sound of the cows crunching on grass. Oh yeah. So it is officially four time. I'm trying to get down the hill without falling on my butt. So the girls are starting to head up to the chute. They're not in there yet. I had to close off this lower pasture. And I will say I am not going to miss having to herd them up. Most days they take their time getting up there, but there are certain days where we kind of are in a rush to get stuff done. So having the cows up closer is always nicer. Plus, I learned from the shop down to the creek and up at the chute into the milk stanchion is about a half a mile. So I definitely won't miss doing this. Plus, they have eaten this pasture down pretty well. They actually started to eat some of the hay bale that was left up here. But we'll have some nice fresh grass here shortly. Hey, Mimos! You guys gotta get some road snacks, is that it? Let's go, ladies. Hi, Chuckster. Hi, Z. Come on, B. Nice to Chuckster. Let's go. Come on. Let's go, Chuck. You don't get to stay down here tonight. Come on. Let's go, ladies. Come on. Get moving. Good girls. Come on, Chuck. Are you going to be the holdout tonight? Come on. Let's go, Chucky. You want your dinners? Let's go. I gotta close this pasture off, buddy. Let's go, come on. Besides, Sassy won't go until you go because she always has to be the, the end caboose. Huh. Come on, Sassy. All right, so we got Sassy moved. So now we can take this and this will close off paddock and they won't have access to it until we remove this hot line. Let's go milk some cows. 
So for reference of the area that we are officially opening up is actually here to the trailer and they'll have access to this back side of the pond as well. So they'll actually have access to the pond. Oh, I'm wounded. So in the summertime, we don't like to have them have access to the pond just because we don't want them in the pond mucking it up. We've been trying really hard to get it cleared up naturally and letting the cows in it probably just completely ruined all of the progress we've made on it. But the pond is right here and we got the greenhouse and they will have all of that grass up there. And this will have access to the chute. They will always have access to the chute. Sass, you are moving slow today. And then all of this, they'll have access to as well. There's lots of green grass still left over there. Even this pasture still has a ton of grass in it. But they probably won't be back on these pastures until next year. We'll winter them over in this front pasture and then we call it the winter pasture. And that's where they will stay most of the winter. And then we may do rollouts of hay bales over here to start working on this paddock. We'll see if we get that far this year. Excuse me, Sass. Oh, did you find some green grass? Okay. I know what you're doing. You are holding up the line because you know I feed Chucky over here. If you think you stay on this side of the line, you can have Chucky's dinner. That's not going to happen. Chucky! <laughs> That's how you get beeped in the butt. Come on, Chuck. So. There you go, buddy. And then you get put behind hot wire. So you have your own special snacks that these girls can't get to. Okay. There you go. Come on, Deb. No, there's no extra snacks. Could be. Deb demands her snackies. Yeah. Get, yeah, that's her alfalfa. No, 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 no. All right, so Jesse's turning the main connector to the hot wire off, which is over there. And that way we can go ahead and open this. Oh, I should probably let Chuck out. Hi, Chuckster. I didn't want any of the girls heading back down the chute, so I didn't open this back up, Chucky. There you go, buddy. There you go. You're free. All right, and so now Jess is going to try to figure out a way to get that line to stay open. I can always grab another one of the poles over there and you could just hang it up. That might work. Right. Oh no, 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 that didn't take long. Sassy already seen that she had an out and she took it. Since we don't really need to separate this pasture off right now, we'll take this guy can use it. Yeah, that didn't take long at all. Oh, that's a lovely sound. What do you think, Susan? You okay over there?
I read. Oh, Susan sees the green up here. Oh, is that yummies? So they'll probably hang out in this general vicinity for a little while and then they'll start to meander out. They've never actually been past the greenhouse on this side. So it'll be interesting to see how long it takes them to actually go up that far. But I foresee them being able to eat this down in probably about a week. 10 gallons tomorrow. <laughs> and we will get a lot more milk probably tomorrow as well. But I think I think they approve. So it has been a very long and productive day. So I think we're gonna end it here so we can go inside. We're having Uno ribs for dinner and probably some roasted beets that we harvested today out of the garden. I know Jesse absolutely loves beets. Ugh. Dirt root. I love beets. Let me know down in the comments below if you love beets or you hate them. I find you either love them or hate them. There is like no in between there. So let me know. Let me know in the comments below how you feel about beets. I absolutely love them. But we'll probably do another side dish just to appease everybody else in the house. But if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. We've got a lot more projects going on. We still got to finish the chicken tractor. I got to get garlic planted. And hopefully we'll be ultrasounding the goats soon. So be sure to subscribe for all that. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Do you think it's going to be a little weird cooking their friend tonight? I don't think they like to Uno either, so I don't think they'll mind. Susan might want to just take a bite out of it too. Oh, <laughs> They're like, I don't know where to go. Yep. There's so much to choose from. And they haven't even started to venture this way yet.